Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another Pro Evolution Soccer 2020 video. I'm going to be sharing with you a formation I've come across which gives me a lot of possession. So let's dive into the game plan and show you this first. So this is the formation. Notice how I've spread the players out here. That does actually make a difference. So just make sure you get those positions just right. Now if we go into the attacking instructions, possession, short pass, central attacking error, maintain formation and eight for support range. So what this does is it keeps the team nicely spread out, allowing you to maintain really good possession. But you can also play down the middle and uh, we'll come on to the sort of width of the uh, the formation in a minute. But defensive instructions, frontline pressure, middle aggressive, eight for defensive line, eight for compactness. I really do like these uh, two settings here. It means they're gonna be really high but it's going to be very, very compact as well. So it allows you to sort of stop any sort of quick counters directly through the middle with the frontline pressure and middle aggressive. Again, you're going to be on the front foot, pushing the uh, opposition back, trying to win the ball back as quickly as possible. That helps you maintain your high possession percentage. Advanced instructions, hug the touchline and ticket attacker. So yeah, um, hug the touchline, like I said, it's going to help you maintain your width. Really important for possession style play um, but if you don't want to go that route then you can literally just turn off hug the touchline and move Messi and Griezmann in to become a well two center forwards and one support striker how you do that is up to you you can mix and match it I prefer Messi in the SS role but it's up to you entirely but that's if you want to go through the middle if you find the like the wide areas are being blocked that's all you have to do just change those positions around so yeah, that's the uh, that is the tactics. So let me just show you the settings. So it's legend difficulty, ten minutes worth of game time, both even, and uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go with this. Okay, so we're just about to get things underway. I have got the controller on screen, and I've also included the power bar, so you can get an idea of how much sort of power you need to put. On your passes but I will be doing a passing tutorial in the coming days so what we're looking to do here is just sort of be really patient and build our attacks you know keeping it really really simple if you've seen the seen my last tutorial on sort of passing and moving you'll see this sort of slow build up and then increasing the tempo as we get near the box but at the time being, it's sort of side to side passing. You know, here's Messi into Rakitic, or is that the old Rakitic that was? Sorry, back to Messi. So, being really, really patient, waiting for the openings to appear. Here's Sergi Roberto across to Busquets, back to Sergi Roberto, back into Busquets. Little ball into Suarez, snuffed out, but again, with that front line pressure. They were forced to sort of just clear it long and they were able to win the ball back really, really quickly. So, you know, when you are trying to dominate possession, it's important to get that ball back as quickly as possible. So obviously the longer they have the ball themselves, the less possession you're going to have at the end of the game. So with this formation, I've been getting around 80 to, well, the last game I had 83% possession. Um, so we're just going to see what we can do here. So we'll just have to see if we can if we can beat that. But yeah, it's, it's you know you don't want to be like passing for the sake of it. You know anyone can keep passing the ball around and and not you know not penetrate. But it's important to have that penetration. That was a bit of a poor poor pass. But because his player was so close. I could take, afford to take that risk because it would usually bounce off their player and back to your own. And that was a really poor pass from Messi. I was expecting a little bit better that. Counter attack here. But, you know, that's that's pretty easy to deal with. Nothing, uh, nothing spectacular. But again, in these in these areas of the pitch, it's really simple until I stupidly did a skill move. Won't be doing that again. You know. Part of my recommendations would be to avoid using skills until the advanced areas of the pitch. I was, uh, I didn't think um, the Real Madrid team would have would have pressed that stage, but I'm just going to pass it out from the back here. It's going to be really slow, methodical, side to side passing, looking for the options, 
And with this spacing, with the with that high support range, you're going to see uh, another really bad pass there. You're going to see that um, sort of ability to, to retain possession of the ball. But we're not doing very well with our passes right now. But we'll, uh, we'll try and bounce back. So here we go. Is Griezmann. One of the other things I forgot to point out is you're probably thinking, oh, why, why is Griezmann a wide player? Why didn't he play Dembele there? Um, basically, I wanted everyone in the team to have a passing stat or lay pass stat of 80 and above. Really important for sort of um, maintaining possession of the ball. You can't afford to have less than that because otherwise passes will go astray. We even saw Messi earlier like not putting enough power on that through ball. Partly my fault, but also down to, uh, well, mainly my fault. But, you know, you, you want to sort of, here's Griezmann. Oh, good effort. Almost, almost carved a chance out there. But, yeah, so the low pass, that is so important for a retaining possession. You can't have straight passes going, you know, array. Um on legend difficulty because it's going to be long periods of time where you're not going to see the ball back. Oh, a little curler there from Busquets, but couldn't quite keep it down. You know, I feel like we could have we could have done better here in this first half. There's a few sloppy, sloppy moments, you know, where I tried to scale and gave the ball away, but for the large part, I think we have been. Dominating possession, which is the main aim of this formation. And it's not all that difficult to do. You know, if you've played legend difficulty against Real Madrid with Barcelona, it's, it's a nightmare at times. Absolute nightmare. They, they will put a press on. Look, you can see their players pushing really hard. But with that high support range, it makes it very difficult for them to literally cover all my players. So there's always going to be like a an out ball, a way to sort of find a way past their, their lines, their midfield lines. And look how patient I am. The amount of times I use the right bumper and right trigger just to stop my player is, especially in the wide areas, and I'm, I'm looking for like the overlaps. You're going to see that a lot. Chance from a corner here. Oh, punched away. Ah, oh, not the player I wanted. Supposed to get it young, that. But quickly snuffed out their attacks with that high press. Here's a chance. Suarez. Oh, he's got to do better there. He has to do better. But look at that. 82% possession. Five shots, one on target. Look at that. They only... They made 15 passes and only 12 successful passes. And that was through me being really stupid. Oh my word. <laughs> I don't think I've, uh, like I said, they have high possession, but for them to only pass the ball 15 times during, uh, what, a 10 minute half? <laughs> I didn't see what my, uh, how many passes I made, but that's crazy. Here's De Jong. Look at the Look at this width. This is what I was saying with the hug the touchline. It's important to sort of um, you know, maintain that width again bringing Sergio Roberto forward there with that high press that's one of the good things you know, if they do play a short pass then it's a, it's a little bit too short for their players then my defenders will push forward and pick it up rather than sort of sit back and wait for them to pick up the ball and it's Griezmann Busquets Rakitic, Messi. I was looking for <laughs> Rakitic there, but it's come to Busquets. Back inside to De Jong. Oh, lovely little ball that. The reverse pass and a good shot. Oh, no, unlucky. Nice build up play here, though. Nice interchange. You know, this is. My tutorial is going to all be about with the pass and moves tutorial. Be sure to check it out. I don't know if this video will come first or that one will. 
maybe the pass and move to Toro first. But here's Griezmann. Come on, get the ball back quickly. Oh, chance for uh, easily swept up by the keeper, but they get the ball back here. Just got to be wary here. Nice tidy up job. Again, let's play it out safely. Nothing crazy. Keep ball. Here's Messi. I just felt like the pressure there was getting a little bit too much, so I went backwards just to reset and spread the play. So Jordi Alba is Griezmann inside to De Jong. I didn't like De Jong when I first started playing this game, but he has definitely grown on me. He's definitely a player I like. And him and uh, Van Der Beek, uh, I really want those in one of my Master League sides one day. Those two to play together. Oh, oh my goodness. He's got to score that. He has to score that. That's horrendous finishing from Suarez. Ah, oh, that's just... That's never, never, never right. It's Marcelo. Busquets. Inside. Here's Messi. Just use your, your balance there, Messi. And just to hold him off. And again, right trigger, right bumper, just to hold it in place. Oh, here's Messi. 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 Come on. What a goal. <laughs> Oh, the little stop-start. Not many players can do that against Ramos. But Messi's definitely one of them. Only him and Ronaldo could, could probably do this in this game. The ability to hold him off. Normally he's so good as a centre-back. But look at this ball here from Rakitic. Lovely. Finds the space. Cuts inside. Typical Messi, this is. Little jinking run inside the box. Off goes this go, on comes Bale. Now we'll see. Probably Real Madrid switch to a more attacking strategy, maybe. If they haven't already. I feel like they're starting to open up. And it's it's a little bit harder to build from defence, so I think they've already switched to a more attacking strategy earlier on. But here's De Jong into Albert again. You know, that right bumper, right trigger, just to stop your player and just look for for movements. Because no one was coming to me, so I could just sort of st stand there and, uh, and whilst you're stationary, obviously you, you get like a, a little bit of a boost to your, your passing accuracy. So you know it's going to be spot on. Nice spread of the play there. And again, look at this width. We've got Alba... And Griezmann on one side and Messi and Sergi Roberto on the other. And here's Rakitic. Oh, I should have played the ball quicker. That's frustrating. I got loads of runners going forward now. Just got to run back. Cover that space. Beautiful. Oh, no. He's in. <laughs> I can't believe they picked out that pass. That was absolutely perfect. Just uh, enough ahead of my player to stop me getting it. Corner to Real Madrid. We have to get this ball back ASAP. Keep that possession. Uh, I think this is going to help him. Oh, Bale with the header. If you've been watching my Euro 2020 Master League, uh, sorry, Euro 2020 uh, Cup run for Wales, you'll know how good he is uh, from from headers. So I was a little bit worried about that. But we've got the ball back now, and uh, that's the main main thing. Oh, that's poor. That was lucky, to be fair. I was pressing A to... Sorry, X to tackle. A if you're on Xbox. Through to Rakitic. Into Messi. Back into Rakitic. Oh, not enough on it. Just need a little bit more power there. No, that is wasteful. Oh, that's going to harm my uh, possession. Just need to defend that. Last two minutes. Bit of possession here. Again, you can see how safe my possession play is. Spreading it wide here. Here's Messi. 
Back inside to Rakitic, to Busquets, Griezmann, De Jong, Griezmann. Oh, back to Griezmann! Oh, it's lovely play. Must be about 15 pass move that. Back into Busquets. Nice little fake shot into Griezmann, cleared. And that is full time, ladies and gents. Oh, man. I felt we gave him a little bit of possession. A little bit too much possession cheaply. Certainly first half and second half. We could have eradicated that. And I don't know what possession we ended up with in the end. But a good win. That Lionel Messi goal. Oh, man. So let's just uh, take a look at the stats. Nine shots through on target. They did a little bit better in the second half. They got up to 52 passes, but still pretty low. 22% possession. You know, I wanted, to, I wanted to get us into the 80s. But that is all from me, ladies and gents. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for all, guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.